guys i hope you're all well welcome back to my channel today i am filming possibly the most exciting video of the year for me it is of course the seasonal trip to home sense tk maxx where all the pumpkins are now in stores i don't know if they've got their full range out but we will see i'm gonna head to the stores at the trafford center near manchester if you're new to this channel then hi my name's freya i live on the outskirts of manchester and i'm a shopaholic if you are new i would love it if you'd stick around and subscribe and before i get started with spritzing on my favorite perfume i need to fill up my water bottle and then get on the road but before i do i do very kindly have a sponsor for today's video i have been trying out the bluffs ab toner which funnily enough before they reached out we actually saw a feature in woman's health and was it woman's health or men's health I can't remember but Tom um had mentioned about trying it and I was like mm, will it work will it not so when they reached out I was like oh my god amazing I will try it let you guys know show you how it works see how it works and see how my abs improve we will see but so far so good you only have to use it say 15 minutes a day five days a week and then after a while once you've been using it you can reduce it down to like two to three times a week or however you feel necessary in order to maintain the look that you desire so one of the main things that drew me to trying the brand out and especially is the fact that i was like mm, is it gonna work is the fact that they do a 100% money back guarantee option. You know your investment is secure with if you're not happy with your results. Having said that, the device is super easy to use. It's completely safe. It's tried and tested with scientifically proven results. I mean, I'm not a professional, but the way that it works is it targets the dormant muscles. So when you're doing like your ab crunches or your workouts and only around 30% of the muscles you use, this targets the dormant muscles, that other 70%. So it really just helps tone and define. It's been proven to improve your posture, which is something I always like try and shoulders up and back. And then naturally, of course, it reduces your waist circumference. I would describe the sensation as mild pulsations that sort of contract and release. And there's different levels of intensity. So you can tone it down if you feel like the need to or up. And it really is as easy as being able to sit back and just let it do its thing. So I like to do it when I'm just sat editing, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. And the little gel pads that come with it, you can get a uh, about up to 30 uses so for me and Tom who will share the device I would just recommend maybe putting in an extra order of the gel pads if that is something that you're looking to do if you're going to share it with a partner so that is my experience on Bluff. So I will leave a direct link in the description box if you did want to try it out yourself and without further ado let's get ready to go I'm going to put on a spritz of my favorite autumnal perfume you don't want to come out here because I'm filming Tom's nakey nakey. <laughs> this is Replica by The Fireplace. It is my absolute fave for this time of year. It literally smells like the log burner downstairs. <laughs> it's amazing. Let's go shopping. I've just pulled up at the Trafford Centre. Just a little tip if you're looking to shop here. There is a huge Primark. That's another video. They have the Barton Square Arcade bit, which is, I'll flip you around and show you. It's by this big Sea Life entrance here. And this is where they have the big home sense over two stories. And then they've got TK Maxx, a bit of a drive away. So home sense first, then we'll go to TK Maxx. And I might even treat myself to a little Starbucks on a route to TK Maxx because there is a Starbucks drive through that I can see just over there in the distance. Hoping they have the pumpkin spice lattes out already. I know they brought them out early September last year. So fingers crossed for that. If not, there is a very similar alternative that one of you guys recommended. Okay, let's head on in to the home sense. This front section was really their main and only Halloween autumn themed section of the entire store. There were some fairly funky looking pumpkins and skulls and things like that very much halloween themed as opposed to a nice natural glamorous autumn i saw a lot of this kind of tiffany blue which i feel like is a bit of an up-and-coming trend probably not one that i would venture into love this little salt and pepper shaker and bowls and things like that perfect if you were hosting and if you did want that more natural autumn kind of more subtle home decor they have some really nice leaf 
items like this bowl, some acorns, pears. Those are the kind of things that I keep my eyes peeled for. Now heading on to the rest of the store, obviously plenty of faux flowers and plant stands, things like that. I always like to check out the garden section outdoor plant stands like these. They quite often have some nice vases as well. And another thing I've noticed they've been getting a lot more of is wines, champagnes, so something worth noting maybe for Christmas presents. Onto the candle section, I spotted this Karen Millen one that they did with Aroma Works, which was new to me. I didn't realise that she did that. This Japanese one, I have the room spray of that, so I was tempted for that as I was this Woodwick one. Didn't think it was the best discount though, but they're the ones that crackle, so they sound beautiful when you burn them. As always, I love to check out the cards giftware section. I loved that Prosecco birthday card. I love the sort of illustration and monochrome design to that. And this is the sort of section that you tend to get things like uh, diaries, gift wrap, gift bags, books as well. So I always keep my eyes peeled for uh, coffee table books. I spotted this one, Ginger Pig. Is that a restaurant? I'm not sure, uh, but I really like this. Just warning, vegetarians look away now. I thought this was a really wholesome cooking book that was perfect for this time of year. So I really liked that. And then I spotted these ring binded photo albums, which would be great for maybe scrapbooking if you're into that. As always, a quick look at the diary notebook kind of section. Nothing was jumping out to me. There were plenty of colorful ones, but not too many neutral ones that caught my eye. I did spot this marble pot for only £2.50 in the clearance, and I'm kind of regretting not picking that up because even once the candle had burnt down, I feel like that would make a really nice marble pot. And then I spotted this congratulations sign at only £8 in the clearance. This kind of beaded effect always reminds me of the White Company. Well worth checking out the gift wrap and things like that in the clearance as well. This beautiful bottle bag was only 90p. And I also spotted this wooden heart. I'm not really sure what you would do with it, but only three pounds. I thought it was really pretty. Anyway, moving back onto the candle section, I saw these tea lights, which I really liked, and a couple of seasonal scents. This bourbon apple was one of them. I also spotted this lava, but it kind of threw me off with it saying tropical and fruity on the front. This crisp apple and pear one, mold cider and farm fresh apples one were very seasonally appropriate as well. There was definitely a lot more choice as I head over to TK Maxx, which you'll see in a moment. I've also been looking out for these kind of old antique style paintings. I thought that was beautiful. I feel like it would fit really nice in our new sort of Edwardian Victorian townhouse that we bought. But anyway, moving on from that, that content is all to come. I'm so excited for the house move. Lots more homeware related content to come. So if you love that, stay tuned. I saw this little doorstop. It said it was damaged, but I'm not really sure where because I thought that was pretty cute. Loads of rugs as always, and they also have a really nice wide selection of lamps at this home sense. They even had these bean bags as well, which I spotted and thought were pretty good value for money at just £30. A really nice way to add a seasonal pop of colour is through cushions and throws, and there were plenty of rich rusty browns and mustard colours as well. And then heading on upstairs, I first was welcomed with this beautiful basket section. I'm always a fan of their baskets. The first place I come if I'm looking for something like that is HomeSense, TK Maxx. They have such a good selection. Moving over to the kitchenware now, I always like to keep my eyes peeled for white Le Creuset items and black as well. They had plenty of grey this time and also this new lemon colour, which I thought was beautiful. I spotted these white jugs. I love that kind of beaded design. It's very designer inspired, only 9 dollars I actually picked up the smaller one next to it, which you'll see at the end of this video when I show you all the items I picked up. Kept my eyes peeled for autumn mugs, but wasn't really successful. And then I loved these cute little salt espresso mugs. It's kind of like a hammered effect. Really simple, minimal, love the packaging and branding of that. Moving over to the sort of tray section, I spotted these, are they called dough wooden boards or something like that? I picked one up recently in a thrifting charity shopping video. I'll leave it linked in case you wanted to see it. I spotted these ones for $16.99. 
I also have a quick look at the food section. There's always some yummy treats on hand and always keep my eyes peeled for some good coffee because as you guys know, I'm a coffee lover, so is Tom. We have tried and tested many different varieties. They had some amazing flavoured fudge. Cider would be great for this time of year. They had ginger, chocolate, Irish cream. So many different options to choose from. And I also spotted that ginger spread, which I think I would really like. Always keep my eyes peeled for a pumpkin flavoured skinny syrup, but this little set of three for 6 99 was pretty good value for money. Red velvet cupcake and creme brulee and almond joy. How amazing do they sound? How satisfying is all this colour coordinated? Le Creuset, they have such a good selection. I also spotted this brand, which I thought was really pretty. They had the rectangular and circle shaped oven dishes. Again, another way to add a seasonal pop of colour is through tea towels or aprons, and they had a pretty good selection of kind of nice natural browns and oranges. I also had a quick look at the cleaning section. They had some really nice cloths and tea towels in this beautiful sage green greens and natural kind of beige colours. I was so tempted to pick up this pack of microfiber cloths. If they'd have all been the beige coloured, I would definitely have picked those ones up. I did see this beautiful wooden tray and noticed in the clearance at £10 but it was broken but I think a bit of hot glue would fix that but such a shame that it was broken. Again, my eyes are just drawn to the basket section, I can't help myself. I also spotted these designer wash bags. These guest ones were beautiful and they also had some DKNY ones. Great little Christmas present gift ideas. You could even fill it with some beauty products for a loved one. Then the last section I headed to in Home Sense was the bedding. I loved this colour. If they'd have had a full bread spread, I probably would have bought it, but that was just the sheet. And I loved the material of this DKNY one, but unfortunately they didn't have any whites or beiges. <sighs> well, oh, it's hot in here. Home sense was disappointing, underwhelming. I'm just thinking, you know, maybe this year they've just not had the deliveries like they used to from America because there was a few Halloween y bits with hardly any candles in that home sense, which was really surprising. Because I have been to other TK Maxx so far this year and have seen them, so. Oh, I'm just seeing a huge TK Maxx and HomeSense delivery lorry leaving. I bet that has just unloaded a whole pumpkin patch. Maybe I've timed this wrong. Oh well, let's go over to TK Maxx, see what they are saying, see if they've got any more bits in. I did actually pick up a few bits though, so I'll show you them when I get back. Oh gosh, it's hot. I think I might do a Starbucks pit stop before I go to TK Maxx though. And what else was I gonna say? Yeah, so they had a few Halloween-y bits in, but I want a bit more glam. I want a bit more luxe. I want white pumpkins. I want gold. I want fabric pumpkins. I don't want scary ghosts, you know? This is my idea of a perfect autumnal day. Roof down. Look at that, not a single cloud in the sky. Um, okay, there's that one back there, but we'll just ignore that one. Bright blue skies, nice and fresh and cold and that crisp air is delightful. So see you when I get to Starbucks. And just like that, we're back in the car. So I've just ran into Starbucks, because I needed to go to the toilet. So instead of driving through, I just popped in. So, they don't have the pumpkin spice lattes in at the minute. So I picked up one of my faves, banana loaf, to snack on. And the drink one of you guys recommended that tastes similar to pumpkin spice latte is a caramel macchiato, but made with cinnamon instead of vanilla. And they popped on some of the caramel sauce on top. And I've sprinkled, I don't know if you can see there, some nutmeg and cinnamon on top as well. So. I'm feeling all the spices. I can smell them in the air, so let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. That 
is so good. That's a new fave. Caramel macchiato made with cinnamon instead of vanilla. Delicious. Let's get this roof back open, the windows open. Because I still wanted my cozy drink. It is still cold outside, but for some reason my car is just hot. Let's go to TK Maxx. Sometimes I find, you know, that TK Maxx is actually better than Home Sense. So here's hoping. Ooh. We're off. Okay, we have arrived. So, there is actually more here than what there used to be. There's now a drive through Starbucks, yet another one. Um, Nanda's, McDonald's, loads of food places. And over there is TK Maxx. There it is. B&M. There's also pets at home, a food warehouse. I've actually never been into one of them before. Home bargains over there, and at the end, a Dunelm. So we'll see how I go on in TK Maxx. I know there's a new Zaflora out that is exclusive to B&M, and there's a new one exclusive to Home Bargains. So we'll see if I can spot them in either of those, and then maybe even go over to Dunelm. I purposely parked far away as well to walk off this. <laughs> It's banana bread, getting my extra step count. I have sanitized. Mm. I remember once when we lived in America, they stopped doing this. I was not happy. Game changer. Okay, heading straight to the candle section. No messing around this time. Vanilla cinnamon, yum, spiced apple. They had so many more choices. Apple honey butter. This Olivia Blake one I was very tempted for. Cinnamon, bark, and white ginger. Sounds nice, but also looks nice as well. And only $7.99. They also had tea lights, they had reed diffusers. I also spotted this one from Stone Glow in All I Want for Christmas is Prosecco. I actually really like the scent of this moss one. It was only $6.99, but obviously just not in my color scheme. And this one, Winter Morning, smelled lovely as well. I really like the sand and fog ones, and they had this one in Weathered Spice. And I also spotted a Yankee Candle in Apple Cinnamon Cider. If you really want to go all out and add a pop of color, then these bar stools were beautiful. I loved these little glass vases as well and these signs. I love that kind of plaque sign, only $3.99. If they'd have had an autumn themed one, I probably would have picked it up. This tree was beautiful, it could be a nice decorative piece. And these amber glass apothecary jars, I think that's what they're called, were beautiful, super heavy though. Yet again, I like to check out the card section and the packaging, everything like that, the notebook section. Always like to have a look and you never know what you may find. I really loved these vases, the color of them and everything, but they had these artificial plants in, so it made them more expensive at $12.99 and they were like kind of stuck in there, which was a real shame, but I thought they were beautiful. Moving over to the seasonal section now, they had these acorns and this hedgehog bowl, which I thought was super cute. And they also had, I'm pleased to say it, a wider selection of pumpkins and Halloween decorations, more so than Home Sense had, which is quite surprising. It's still definitely not the wide selection that I'm hoping for. They had glassware, these wine glasses and tumblers were only $3.99. Pretty good if you're having some kind of party. And again, these salt and pepper shakers are so adorable. They had a wider selection of black pumpkins, if you are into that. This one was very glam with the sequins and they also had these candlesticks and this kind of open pumpkin with a really pretty decorative inside. They had quite a lot of costumes as well for kids. If you're planning on trick or treating, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen this year. The section that we all love and hope to find the pumpkin syrup in was pretty sparse in this TK Maxx, they're $3.99. They did have a lot of caramel flavored syrups. And then the tea and coffee section was pretty much fully stocked. I was very tempted for this cinnamon tea. And also I spotted this black tea with apple spice that sounded delicious. 
How adorable are these cute little white Le Creuset espresso mugs at 4 99 I already have a couple of these because I'm obsessed. I love this little housekeeping caddy as well. It seemed to have a missing handle though, that's the only thing, but perfect for carrying around your cleaning products as you're working your way through your house. I loved the design on this apron. It was fairly affordable as well at only 6 99 but I'm just not in need of any aprons or tea towels. Then I headed down to the clothing section to check out the knitwear they had loads of Hollister bits Stradivarius I didn't spot any Zara on this trip but there was a lot of Bershka as well and they're sort of priced anywhere from about five pounds so you can really get a good bargain in the sort of mod box section in TK Maxx I think my favorite jumper that I found and the one that I was most tempted by was a Hollister one that very much looked like ski vibes ski holiday Christmas jumper and it was only $14.99. Loved that. Time flies, yet there's butterflies in my palms and in my eyes. No echoes from the other night. Oh my god, Christmas already at home bargains. Wow. Who remembers these from my last year's White Company Dupes, Christmas Dupes video? Still love them, still have them for our tree this year, um, $1.99. We've got these little pillar candles as well, 79 p Oh and they have them in the jar version at 99 p and then the bigger version at $2.99. And even the tea lights at 79 p This is a bargain, $1.99 for Yankee Candle branded wick trimmer. Never seen that before, that's amazing. That'd be a good little stocking filler. So they do have the new Peony blush, but only the big one. It's $3.99 RRP, $5.99. And I feel like this is duping the Peony blush suede from Jo Malone. Oh, do I just get it? I think the one in B&M is called Rose Noir. So I'm back home now as you saw that I popped into home bargains and OMG the Christmas things are out Ooh, maybe I should do a full dedicated home bargains vlogging trip because there were quite a few things in there that I spied and liked the look of but thought I would just hold out just for a little bit longer and then I did go over to Dunelm and spotted a few things in fact the two bits that I picked up I'll show you them first so the first thing that I got from Dunelm are these. They are black reeds for reed diffusers. So if you feel like your reed diffusers need a refresher, they need new sticks. Equally, if you prefer this black color to natural wood, then these are a good option. They're only a pound each and they do have the natural color as well if, if vice versa you prefer the natural color. I did pick up some recently from somewhere else but they weren't long enough. These ones are 30 centimeters so they're for a pretty big reed diffuser so that is why I picked those up. And then I also spotted this. There were two different sizes of this and I went for the smaller one at £4.50 but the larger one it looks exactly the same just ever so slightly bigger and deeper and it was £6. So yeah, I went for the one at £4.50 and it's this kind of natural hessian basket. So I thought that kind of gives the aesthetic, let's get rid of that label, gives the aesthetic of like American farmhouse style vibes, which you could put some cute little pumpkins in there or something, maybe white ones. And then I did get a big bag full of things from TK Maxx and home sense. I'll start with TK Maxx. I did check out the clothes and they had a few bits, but I wasn't really there for the clothes. I was more there for the pumpkins and everything, as you guys know. And I was definitely more impressed with TK Maxx stock. In fact, I've just got it here sat on the side. I'll show you this that I got from Aldi because I started burning this one yesterday. I need to trim the wick down. And it's in sugared cinnamon. And this was, I think it was $3.99 from Aldi. So. A nice autumnal candle there at a really affordable price if you wanted to check it out yourself. Moving on to TK Maxx, I'll show you now. I did pick up these Lint Lindor chocolates. These are in the flavor caramel, and the only problem is, is I only spotted one of these. They were 3 dollars 
and my intention with this is because they're a really nice kind of pumpkin orange colour to have them in our jar which currently holds mint imperials for like all year round. As we get to Christmas I like to put the white chocolate Lindors in just because they give that luxe vibe and I thought these ones would be good for autumn. I picked up this from Wax Lyrical. It is in the scent number six study. They had a few different ones and they were named by room. I did have a little whiff of this one because it says jasmine and oudwood and of the scents I think this one is the one that I would prefer so I did give this one a smell and love it. Oh so nice. So these retail for £13 and they're essentially a rediffuser refill and these were in TK Maxx for 2 dollars so mega bargain there. Okay and then the last items that I picked up I actually got three of them I'll start with this one though this one is again wax lyrical and these retail for nine pounds and they were in TK Maxx for 2 dollars they had varying scents but the one that I went for is Earl Grey and Vetiver and it's 12 clear cup tea lights the reason why I really like the clear cup ones is because I actually, I don't know where it is actually. It used to be on the drinks trolley. I don't know where I've moved it. Maybe I've put it away for the move to the new house. But I have a tea light holder, which is all glass. So when I pop a tea light in it, I want the clear cut ones, not the like silver cheap looking ones. The fact that they are clear just goes with the, with the look. Oh, so nice. And the Earl Graham Vetiver scent was my fave. But I also picked up two from, again, Wax Lyrical, but these are seasonal ones. So we've got a winter one here called Snow, and this is from the Lakes Collection, made in Olverston in Cumbria, which is where my dad's parents lived. I've kind of grown up knowing Olverston, but anyway, this is in the scent Snow, and this one is Fallen Leaves. Again, the look of them is just neutral, so forget the colour of the box, the actual tea light itself. Oh, what is that? Inspired by our colourful fallen leaves, covering hillsides with coppers and glistening golds, this amber fragrance is supported by notes of helitrope vanilla and rich musks the scent is reminiscent of autumn walks stood amongst the crisp leaves oh, amazing 2.99 these retail for eight pound fifty usually and then the snow one let's smell this okay this is a lot fresher this one is inspired by our majestic snow topped summits this fragrance opens with snow lily and jasmine hints of fresh peppermint and bergamot on a woody base it's reminiscent of frosty morning walks where your breath catches on the cool winter air. Amazing. Love that they're made in England as well. So that's everything that I got from TK Maxx. Moving on to Home Sense now. I made an impulse purchase at the checkout of these macaroons. They always put some yummy snacks on checkout. I did see some upstairs, but I didn't see any kind of like flavors that stood out to me. They looked all right. But then I saw these ones in apple pie. So obviously I had to get them because apple pie. These ones were $2.99. Then I got some coffee pods. I spotted these ones. They had a few different flavors, but I went for these ones primarily because they are gold in color. <laughs> um, also they are strength eight out of 10 and we quite like a strong coffee. Nespresso compatible, you get 10 in a box. Did I say how much they were? £2.49. So I have an idea of a little DIY that I might do with this next side. It's a very little DIY because it's not going to take much effort. So it is a jug and it's one of these made in Portugal. £5.99 this one was, which I thought was really reasonable. I love the fact that it's kind of a textured rather than a, a completely smooth jug. Can you see there? It just adds to the character of it. And I have the intention of doing that Ray Dunn inspired font and maybe just writing fall on there and putting in some dried bunny tails or little, some kind of dried foliage to have it as an autumn decorative piece. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you copy that yourselves. Tag me in any photos. What do we have next? Oh, some more coffee. This time I went for ground coffee. This is for our filter coffee machine, which we use every single morning pretty much. We've got into a routine as well of like once a week, sometimes twice a week, depending on how busy we are. Me and Tom will make a filter coffee, get up early, and if it's like it was today, really crisp, 
fresh but sunny. We'll make ourselves a coffee, put it in our Nespresso flasks and go out for a nice morning walk and just enjoy our coffee. Love doing that, it's one of my favorite things to do. And this one is in the scent Hazelnut Pie. Kind of wishing it was pumpkin pie, but we'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. It was 3 dollars for 340 grams. Oh, this is definitely seasonally appropriate. You probably saw it in the vlog. Maple syrup, this is like a go-to, especially for Tom actually. He loves maple syrup on porridge, but also on pancakes. We're having a nice little Sunday treat, morning treat, breakfast. Then I picked up this one in the cinnamon maple syrup. How could I not? Let's be honest. It is £4.49. Kind of pricey for what it is, but it's in a really nice glass bottle. All the way from Thomasville, Georgia in America. And the last item that I picked up is definitely really nice for this time of year, but also one that I can have out all year round. It reminded me of the White Company. It is this cute little wicker basket. They had a slightly bigger one at $5.99. This one was $4.99. I was very tempted for the bigger one as well to have it alongside, but I thought I'd just stick with the one for now. You could put a nice little cozy throw in there, or again, my intention at this time of year is maybe to pop some white pumpkins in there. We'll see. We'll see how I end up styling this up. But yeah, I really, really like it. Again, that seagrass kind of material is super the white company vibes, which we all know I'm a big fan of. And I thought $4.99 was a bargain for that. So yeah, super happy with that. And that is everything that I picked up. So I think what I'm gonna do is save the unboxing of my previous year's Halloween pumpkins and decorations for when I do maybe a full decorate with me. I don't know why I say full like I'm American. I'm not, I'm British. But the Americans just know how to do autumn. They do it so well. I'm so jealous of all their shops and all the stock that they have in. So yeah, maybe I'll do like a full decorate and clean with me video, something like that. Maybe the last one before we move out, maybe save it for the new house. We'll see, but stay tuned by subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload, especially at this time of the year, I'm throwing in a few bonus videos here and there, so it's not always just the typical Wednesday and Sunday uploads, sometimes I'm throwing in extra videos and extra content for you guys. Stay tuned for more vlogs with more trips to Home Sense and TK Maxx because you can bet your bottom dollar that I am going to be treating myself to a big glamorous pumpkin this year. I feel like every year I need to. And I feel like I've just been a bit premature this year. So stay tuned for more of that to come. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys.